So now let us see the another concept sex determination. So here we are discussing that each and every trait is expressed by two genes. So there is a trait, the newborn young one, whether it is, it will be a male or female, what decides it? How it is determined, how it is decided whether the born baby is male, is going to be a male or a female. So that is called a sex determination. In animals, in lower forms, in some of the organisms, the sex determination is based on environmental factors. Various environmental conditions decide whether the newborn baby will be a male or a female. In some cases, the temperature decides. Many animals delay the eggs. The temperature at which the eggs are hatched decides whether the born baby will be a male or female. So here temperature is also we can consider it as an environmental factor. So in case of these eggs hatching, the variations in temperature can bring about change in the sex of the organism. So here it is temperature linked. And in some organisms you see like snails, they can change the sex male to female. So this is, these are all in the lower forms. Let us talk about the humans, how the sex is determined in humans. In humans, the sex determination takes place purely by genes. Depending upon the genes acquired by both mother and father. As we have discussed earlier, father, mother, they have two sets of genes, two sets of chromosomes. And during sexual reproduction, they share one set, one set. Here two sets are there, 2n, 2n, 1n is given here, 1n is given here, 1n plus 1n, 2n. The young one will have two sets again. Here, in case of father's body, the reproductive cell of male, it will have two genes that determine the sex, X and Y. In mother, both are X. So the character of female is represented by both X in mother. In father, X, Y. This is one set, this is one set, this is one set, this is one set. But we know that they cannot contribute two sets, only one set they have to contribute. So in this one set, if mother contributes X, father contributes Y, it will be a boy. Y X combination or X Y combination, right? So that means Y X. If father contributes X, mother contributes X, it is X X girl. So it is in the hand of the father whether the born baby will be a boy or a girl determined only by the father here. So from the father genes, if X gene is given to combine with the other gene from the mother, it will be a girl. If Y gene is given, so here the X gene always X here because both the things are X. So mother always contributes X. Mother always contributes X because she has only X which determine the sex. But father has two X and Y. He can either give X or Y. So the sperm cell which fertilizes the egg, if it is having Y, then it will be a boy. The sperm cell if it is having X, the egg also X, 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 girl. The sperm is having Y, egg is X always. So Y, X, boy. In this way, the sex determination takes place in human beings.